Good. Hi. Hi. I ran. <laughs> wow. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, on another exciting episode of uh, This Week on DVD. This week? We, we play with the devs. Yes, that's what we do today. Uh, we will also talk about a few things that we've been uh, doing lately. So first of all, thank you to our uh, amazing crew, making sure that everything is happening correctly. Justine, Pat and Francois are there looking at us doing nothing. Uh, then thank you very much to all of our mods. We don't see your names, but you are right here in our hearts. Uh, because I, do, I don't have my laptop today. I, I was running. <sighs> Salutations. Smile for the camera. Be, Be fierce. Fierce. <laughs> fierce. I, yes. Shout out to mods, ACMs. Thank you very much, uh, you, uh, for your amazing work. All right. Announcements, very quickly. We didn't even introduce ourselves. Oh. Well, this is Louis. This is Mathieu. That's done. OK. Uh, so, announcements, quickly. Uh, next week is the Game Awards. Very excited. Uh, we will be there, a few of us. Uh, you're not coming. Uh, a few of us are going to the Game Awards. Uh, we will be talking and we will be shooing, showing a few things. So, if you, uh, if you like video games, I guess, you'll be watching it anyway. We but like you should, on top of that, watch it because we will be saying Dead by Daylight things on that show. Uh, it's Thursday, November 6th at 5.30 p.m. Wait, that, that doesn't sound right. Montreal, 8.30. That. Uh, it's 5.30 p.m. Uh, L.A. time. For us, it's uh, 8.30 p.m. It's but also probably not November 6th. It's December 6th. Thank you. Oh, see? <laughs> it's fine. Only everything you said was wrong. But I think the tone <laughs> was great. You got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, PTB feedback survey. So there's a PTB going on right now. And some people are playing and they're enjoying the new stuff and then they're com commenting on it. Uh, so there's going to be a PTB survey, f uh, feedback survey coming out on Friday. Please check it out and please put all of your uh, comments in it. Uh, we also check our forums we regularly, yeah. Reddit, Twitter to a certain extent, but don't put your design uh, comments and directions yeah. in there. Uh, best place is the official forums, yep. obviously. Uh, Reddit is okay, but if it's good, you should just put it in the forums. It's going to be better. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about some of the PTB stuff that's happening. Right. You good with that? A, a lot of it is actually new to me. Since I just got back from vacation, there were surprises for me as well. That's exciting. That doesn't yeah. happen often. No. So what surprised you, Louis? I saw a patch note that said you fixed the clown's belly jiggle. <laughs> it's now unplayable. I was extremely upset. I don't know how I'm going to get over it. There are a few people out there who are not happy that we fixed the jiggle. What are you going to do? I don't know. It was too much. Yeah. Uh, so there is a PTB. That's sort of the news of the week. Yeah. There's a, there's a killer and a survivor and, and perks. Yeah, that's pretty intense. So the, the reaction, I enjoyed watching uh, some of our streamers actually discover the killer and go, oh, what the hell is happening? Because it's not a simple killer. No. It's got a few subtleties on how it's used and everything. Uh, as always, we are uh, looking with uh, voracious attention. Yeah at uh, people playing and their comments, and we will use the PTB and the feedback that comes from it to make sure that when it comes out, it is perfect, or as perfect as we can do it. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, I'm interrupting you, so please do go on. Oh, well, uh, it was nice to see the, uh, all the new lighting and gadgetry and technology and whatnot. So the big thing, and you may not notice it out there when you're just looking at the game, but we upgraded the uh, Unreal Engine. Yeah. And that might not mean much to uh, the people out there who are not too technically inclined, but it's kind of a big deal. It's a big deal. It required quite a lot of uh, efforts and work on our side. I, I really want to emphasize how much better it was this time than the last time we did this. Which was two years ago or something? Yeah. Right it around, was painful. Right around the time we rolled out the hag. 
Uh, yeah. And, and then there was kind of this conspicuous absence of new content for many months during which we were uh, very desperately trying to get this engine upgraded. This time, I think it went off. It's well, went better. Nobody even knew we were doing it until we were just like, here you go. It's done. Yeah, there, so there's big, big changes in the way some of the systems work. So the lighting sort of got rebuilt completely yeah. uh, in, the, in the background, in the engine. So we had to look at every single scene and make sure that we tweak the lighting to make it as close as what it was. But yeah. some of the stuff doesn't react. Some of the materials, sometimes they don't react the same way to the lighting because the whole system is different. So there's going to be an ongoing process where we're going to refine it and we're going to uh, keep improving. But obviously, there's going to be changes and things. We, we wanted to make sure that at least the gameplay mm. was not affected too much. I actually took a couple of screenshots. Uh, if you want to share some screenshots. I would love that. Um, this was this is the old you know you're about to create a lobby as a killer, and then we hit it with new lights, which I think is pretty cool. There's it's more reflecty, it's more mm -hmm. cool look. Yeah, uh, and I, I didn't have that much time to take these, but I also went to a, a couple of landmarks you might recognize. The old coal tower. This is how it used to look, and uh, this is what it looks like now. Um, we've got I don't remember what I got now. Oh yeah, the old Thompson house. I guess I just went for all of it, the buildings, which uh, is also a little shinier. Uh, and this is Mother's Dwelling, which looks a lot more atmospheric. Yeah. So yeah, Th that's all the time I had for screenshots. There is also something cool, uh, one more thing that uh, I, I had forgotten was going to be in this PTB, which is the new character information screen has some killer stats on it. And I think I got a picture of that too. If you haven't been on the PTB and seen this, we have some killer yeah, attributes. This is really, really cool. Uh, I mean, th there's been forever uh, comments on how maybe we were vague about some of the things, like, uh, you know, moderately and yeah. slightly. Uh, that's a design decision that stayed. But this is a, a bit of a departure from that, where we decided right. to give you outright some information. Because we keep talking about it. Yeah. In those streams, it, it, on the, the forums, we keep talking about those specific things. And some people want to know, so uh, there it is. I, I have <coughs> a... I have a personal issue with the way that people talk about movement speed yeah. and how, for our player base, the survivor movement speed is 100% and uh. the killer movement speed is 115% except for the slow ones that are 110. And this has just always gotten under my skin because I know how fast they actually move. And is just, it absolutely wrong? And every, no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. If you say arbitrarily that survivor movement speed is 100, then yeah, I guess you'd be right that killer speed is 115% of that. But then I just always wanted, to, but I was like, but what if you actually want to know how fast you're going? So I've always been trying to like tell people how fast these things actually are. Now it's in the game. I don't expect people are actually going to change their terminology, but... Probably not. Anyway, it's out there now. There's a very good question here that says, why did we do the engine update? I mean, we have very good reasons. Can we talk? Yeah, but as a programmer, can you give us some of them? Uh, well, there's a lot of support for the future. Yeah. And there, we have lots of cool things we want to do in the future. And the thing is, the, the, on top of that, there's, there's lots of bugs, let's say, in the game okay, that yeah, are good. from our code. Yeah. And some bugs are from the Unreal code. There, is, there are actually bugs in engines. It happens. Yeah. And some of them are just the way we're using some things. We're sort of bending them in ways they're not yep. originally meant to do. But then Unreal goes, oh, that's a very clever way. Maybe we should actually support that. So it's, it's sort of a... a collaborative effort. Yeah. And uh, so when there's an engine update, uh, there are many fixes. Mm -hmm. And there are also new features, yep. new things that the engine can do that we may have tried to do on our own badly or better sometimes. Uh, but anyway, all of that means that it gives us a lot more tools, but also it means that we are on par with a lot of other people working in Unreal. And so some of the fixes and things can be shared. And it's a lot simpler. Yes. There's a lot of that. And there's support for a lot of things in there that we may not have done, yeah. but we might want to do in the future. Uh, in fact, I think we've got some new fancy volumetric fog mm. actually happening in our levels now that is courtesy of Unreal 420. Uh, any plans to better optimize the graphics? Uh, it takes a lot of GPU to run, and if you don't have the best computer, it makes it difficult to play without dropping you, frames. You looked away before I could tell you that Unreal 420 is lit. OK, sorry, next. Uh, any plans to better optimize the graphics? Oh, yes. 
I, I've actually seen a, a group of people much smarter than me working furiously on optimization tasks. We, I, we've we've sort of moderately committed to the fact that uh, we've considerably committed to yeah, the fact I'd say that that uh, we have a big uh, update specifically for console. But these optimizations, these uh, these. Optimizations. Optimizations. Uh, they tend to be g global, yeah. but uh, some of them are specific. But the efforts are going to be f felt strongly on console. There is a rumor, I see this all the time online, that says, we said there is a console optimization patch coming in December. Yes. Did we say that? I think so. We did? Yeah. OK. There is. OK. But it's not just for console. No, but that's it. There's graphic optimizations that are being done. Yeah. I think they're going to be much more. Uh, Clearly felt on console. Okay. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh, hiding inside lockers now block auras of survivors oh, yeah. while they're inside. My little, that is not a small change. My little notes. Right, it, it was a very small line in the patch notes. I quickly yeah. went to the patch notes. I'm like, what, which of these things may have gotten forgotten or overlooked? That's a massive It's thing. a huge. Yeah. It's, it's a huge change kind of tucked into a tiny little line under the miscellaneous section of the patch notes. So I'm curious to see how that gets, uh, how that plays out. It's, it's pretty radical. Yeah. And uh, I'm getting a lot of, I've gotten a lot of questions about whether it also blocks the ability to read auras yes. while you're sitting in the locker. Right now it doesn't. Feel free to let us know what you think about how this ought to work since we're trying That's things. A, and a lot of these things, there, there's so many repercussions in every single other aspect and in combination with every other perk. Uh, obviously we talk about them when we make those changes and we try to see how everything is going to affect everything. And sometimes decisions have to be made in a very like a, in a wild, not wild manner, but wide manner, sure. where you say, well, all of these things, you know, we have to deal with them because you can't spend that much time just dealing with every single perk separately. So yeah. you go broadly, this is how it's going to deal with these kind of things. Uh, and so sometimes we realize later on that one of them needs to be made an exception or, or a system needs mm -hmm. to be tweaked. And that's where your comments come in. Not your comments, obviously. Some, uh, sometimes my comments. Yeah, but, but I'm t we're talking to them right now. Your comments. Uh, so make, made it possible for survivors to cancel being healed by walking away instead of running. There's a, there's a weird story about this. Please tell me a weird story. OK. Uh, before you could hold shift to sprint away from people who were healing you, we're talking like years ago. Before we had that, there was another system, which was you could just hit a move button. And if you held move for a second and a half, it would tell the game to stop healing you and you could walk away. And then uh, we put in the thing where you could sprint to stop people from healing you. And then at some point, the first feature broke. And nobody noticed because nobody in the world ever did this. Yeah. And we recently dug it up and realized that this wasn't working. And we're like, hey, wait. You know, there are actually real use cases for this. Like, for example, you don't want to get on exhaustion. You have sprint burst, and you want this guy to stop healing you. You now have options. So we put that back in. But it's actually an old, old, old feature that's actually just been fixed recently. That's a beautiful story. That's my story. Fixed an issue that caused survivors stepped in a trap a loud noise bubble to appear when the trapper was holding a bear trap near any other notification okay. bubble. I couldn't find a video of this, but I'm sure some of you guys yeah. have seen this one. This is the wild one where if there's a, any loud noise and a killer is walking behind it and he's holding like a bear trap or he's got a survivor on his shoulder, like you see all kinds of wild stuff that doesn't exist in the notification. Uh, I actually don't know what the problem was. It got fixed while I was on vacation. I would love to talk to whoever fixed this to figure out what the heck that was all about because it, it was one of my all-time favorite bugs. Uh, the the one well the you talked about the clown uh, stomach stomach uh, jiggle yeah I was gonna say giggle would have been good for a clown yeah <laughs> but it, to me the one that was uh, interesting also is the the borrowed time uh, stepping in a bear trap to stop the borrowed time thing yeah uh, which is now fixed as so, it should have been yeah it, it's kind of a super uh, uh, like rare occurrence but it was very annoying to me. I'm happy. Uh, the big thing that we wanted to do to the, oh, yeah, OK. It's hard to uh, catch actual questions according to our mods right now. Stop There's a lot of talk about the spamming. Legion. Uh, <coughs> so right now, we are going to get to that, actually. Uh, we're going to have uh, some of our friends here. I think we have uh, Damo B, Jeff, André, Pat, and Gabriel in game waiting for us. 
Who's gonna be murdering? Oh, dumb. Okay, so dumb is gonna be murdering. Uh, we have some. Uh, uh, are we? Uh, oh yeah, okay. It's actually on right now. So good to go. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, this is obviously the PTB build. Uh, they are doing uh, kill your friends just so that we could actually curate the event. What are they doing right now? Hmm. Okay. Salty lips. Always, it's always salty, salty lips. lips. Always. This also has some very interesting uh, stories you, attached to that. You've uh, told this one many times, but I, I, never, I never get tired of it. I'm an old man. <laughs> Uh, the the golden coin, not so much. There's really not much about it. No. The tarnished coin. Because the chests are cool. Yeah, that's it. That's really all there is to it. Okay. Oh, someone's got a daily ritual. Okay. Oh, that's you. <clears throat> you got to you got to you got to hit the spectate. There you go. That's a really old daily ritual, by the way. I keep it around for for kicks. All right. So. Uh, yeah, the, the first thing about that killer, so uh, what we hear so far, and, and believe me, we give a lot of attention. Run! <laughs> Run, seriously. That was a freebie. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Well, that was, uh, that was, that was a, a nice crack. surprise. Yeah. A good, uh, good defense move here. Uh, the, the, we always put a large grain of salt when we... Uh, we check the first reactions to a new killer. Uh, and this one, what seems to be the overall uh, reaction, if I take a very uh, unscientific poll, mm -hmm. would be that it's super fun, yep. but a little weak. It, right. it's, it, it, he's got a hard time closing the deal. Right. Uh, which is fair. Uh, me, it's, it's the way I play. I'm not a high tier player. People know that about me. Uh, but uh, I think that the super fun more than makes up for the fact that, yeah, of course, if you want to absolutely murder everybody uh, every time and all you care about is the win, mm -hmm. then, you know, you're going to play like either Billy or Nurse and, and that's going to be it. And that's yep. what you're going to play for the rest of your life. Because then it's an arms race where every new killer needs Happy. to be a little better than the Billy and then the next one needs to be even better than that. And yep. every time we do a tweak to an ancient killer, they need to be just a little better than the others, or else it's not even worth mentioning. It's a valid point if you're talking about pure competitive gameplay. Uh, not everybody plays like that. Still, it doesn't mean that we are going to leave the killer as is. So, one of the critical things about this, uh, this guy, or girl, because sometimes... It can be either. It's Susie, but it's not right now. I don't think so. Uh, and then once you go into Frenzy, you are super fast. Much faster. How many percent? You don't know. I actually don't know. Okay. Sorry. So much faster. And then you can actually vault pallets and you can vault windows. Vaulting windows is not new, but vaulting pallets but is kind of exciting. This time you just straight up yeet through the window. Yes. <laughs> Were you holding that in? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been waiting ages to okay, see Okay, so that. it's uh, uh, André is already... Uh, so André is a level designer, for some of you may know. He was there in the previous uh, Play with the Devs, so uh, he's, uh, he's the reason why this really cool new map exists. Uh, he should have done better. I think he should have done better. He should know better, yeah. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, especially because this building has some interesting tech that makes it uh, way more variable than other buildings in the game. It has a bunch of different layouts. So people are going to find themselves more confused in this building than other buildings. Um, That's cool. Except for Andre, he should have known better. Yeah. Uh, so once you go into that frenzy mode, uh, the thing is it recharges quite fast too. So uh, you should not be afraid to use your frenzy uh, right. quite a lot. Uh, and the thing is, once you hit someone, you will see... Uh, indications of where the others are if they are in your Interior. radius. Yeah. So, because the incentive, the idea, the, the, the uh, proposed strategy for this killer is that you go into frenzy and then you start stabbing everybody around you. Right. And then you stab him and you stab the other one. It also speaks of uh, the, the same sort of strategy uh, around this perk that uh, highlights survivors if they are working on gens together. So he's, he's, a, he's kind of a divide and conquer kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You know, the old uh, horror trope of let's split up, yeah. we'll cover more ground is actually a valid strategy against this guy. 
Oh, he's that not is a... very good at stabbing. No. no. So now you can see the highlights. Uh, and uh, the, so not queen's meter is on right now. It is going down because they're not in a chase. So the meter is actually paused if you are either in a chase or if you're mending yourself. Yes. Uh, so once you're in that state, which is a, called a deep cut, deep wound? Deep wound. Uh, it used to be deep cut. It's been many things. Yeah. So deep wound actually uh, means that uh, if your meter reaches the end, you're going to drop to the ground. And it's going to suck a little. And we, we are aware what of... What are you doing, Dom? We are aware of, of players who figured out how to follow players without triggering moonwalk. chase. Moonwalk? Yeah, moonwalk after them. <coughs> the old pig crouch tech kind of deal. We're, we are yeah. aware. We are aware. Uh, we, we've seen that. I mean, obviously, if that becomes the... You know, it's always weird because then you go, oh, that was not the idea. And if this becomes the one way to yeah. really make... The, then we're going to make changes to make sure that you don't have to actually moonwalk towards time, people right. to make this work. Because uh, we, we do like it when people figure out cool ways to do things we didn't think about. Yeah. But if it becomes the only way... Or then it's kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, the other thing also is uh, I think that it, it adds another second of uh, consideration when you get to the pallets because you don't want to drop it before he gets there. Yeah. Because if you drop it before he gets there, then he's going to vault over it and he's gonna actually going to be super fast about it. When, when if you can smack him on the head, then you actually stop the frenzy, which is great. Uh, Whoops. I think you're a little too fast with the vault there. It should have been a smack. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see that right now Andre, uh, Andre go. got caught. Andre. So there's the, the other thing also is obviously if you just hit people normally, mm -hmm. outside of Frenzy, mm -hmm. it's a normal hit, so you're going to mm -hmm. down them in two hits. Uh, but, oh, see, there's going to be a notification. It's fine. Uh, but if you actually hit them with your Frenzy, it can take multiple hits to actually down you, which is part of the, the argument why uh, people say that this uh, killer can't close the deal. Very, very strong at getting the first hit with the Frenzy attack, very weak at closing the chase because he has trouble hitting them once they're injured. Yeah. This, is, this is the feedback we get. This is, I think, kind of the intention insofar as very strong at one thing, weak at another. The actual numbers, maybe they need to be tweaked. Well, that's it. And, the, and, and sometimes it's also just a small thing. Like maybe it's the fact that the timer actually need to still go down when you're in a chase. Or maybe it's, it's something else. Maybe if you hit them a second time, they automatically go down. I don't know. But there's small little changes that can be made to to really uh, finalize that power set. Uh, but the, the one thing that, uh, it's funny, because that was the, I think the, the, that's one of the conversations that we had when we saw that killer at first, pretty much everybody had the same uh, argument saying, but now you made a killer that stabs people, but then it doesn't down them. It's mm -hmm. the opposite of a chainsaw. Like <laughs> instead of doing double damage, you're doing half damage, half damage. or yeah. third damage. But it's so much fun to stab people. It is. It really, to a certain extent, to some people, I'd say, mm -hmm. it makes up for the fact that it's weaker because you, you can stab if people they, a lot. If they stay up longer, them. you can stab them more. That's it. <laughs> hey, uh, he, he does get an astounding amount of brutality points. That's it. Oh, no, he went the other, he went the other way. Down. Oh, no. Uh, he's on the job. So, yeah. Right now, you can see there's wounded people. They're running around. And if they're coordinated a little bit, which I don't know if they are right now. It's not like these people are used to work together. Uh, but, wow, with the flashlight. That's good stuff. Yeah. I feel like I'm back in Korea. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> the new... Flashbacks. Oh, jeez. That's the new perk, if anyone's wondering why the generator is yellow. Uh, that's the one that lets them know when two people are working a gen at the same time. Yeah, so which makes it a good target for the Legion, because Legion is great at engaging multiple targets. So uh, that's a gab on the hook right now. That's, and everybody's coming to her rescue, obviously, because everybody likes her. Mm. Uh, or maybe they just want... Oh, boy. Dom, really, I'm not impressed. Okay, so let's see. Uh, is, Dom's uh, playing on controller. Is he? I, I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to give him a chance. So, uh, Patricia here is playing with uh, the actual Jeff perks, oh, which yeah. are worth uh, commenting on right now. Uh, so, uh, we're not doing a full-on uh, spotlight kind of experience here, but the perks are really cool. So, right now, the bond is actually lit, because uh, if someone helps you or if you help someone, 
you will actually, uh, it's not bond, it's, it's aftercare. It's aftercare. It's a, it's a bonding experience, it is. I guess. Uh, it is. But, uh, but the idea is that you will see the outlines of the people who helped you or the people that you helped yeah. forever. Until well, you until get, you get yeah. hooked. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And, and if you have the perk at, uh, at a higher level, you can see everybody. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, she's, I think also the, running, the, she's also running Distortion, which right. is actually not that good against the Legion because he doesn't actually have aura reading perks. On well, there's the, there's the, the, if you're working on a gen together. Except this doesn't help you with that. Really? Really, because it's only highlighting the generator. Oh, it doesn't highlight true. the survivors. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's very funny. Uh, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Dead. That's the nature of Dead by Daylight. You put on perks and you go, oh, shit, now I'm against the doctor. And it serves no purpose. Right. Uh, which is great. Uh, I think that the big one is probably... Uh, breakdown. Yeah. The breakdown. Because he's so heavy, he breaks the hook. Yes. But also because I think that that's one of the ones that people really enjoy hmm. right now. And it's, it's not necessarily the one that will make you win games, but definitely it's satisfying. We you were, get put on the hook, you get taken off, and the hook breaks. Super fun. We were sweating a bit looking at this one with the, the sabotage changes that came in recently. As I'd say yeah. that so far the game has not been ruined by a sabotage meta. Uh, no, but if, like, uh, if you have a few... Uh, you know, toxic jakes with that perk and saboteur, it could become a little painful. We'll see. We'll see how that develops. Yeah. Uh, we're not encouraging you to do that, but if you do, please let us know how that works out. If that's how you get your kicks. Yeah. Uh, who else we got? So, everybody's wounded again here. Andre's gone already. Uh, you know, uh, you could help people, uh, Gab. Uh, some of them are wounded. We, we may have a we may have a small visual bug there with the killer, yeah, but that's okay. No. Don't look at that. No, that's, it'll, that's it'll not get, something to look at. It'll get straight. There. Obviously, she got the pebble. Of course, because you know. Plus, there was a, a little. There was a pebble buff. I should have put a small pebble buff. I should have put that on the on the thing here. Yep. Pebble now leaves scratch marks. Yep. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's cool. The pebble was already one of those quirky perks that worked very well. Uh, but uh, but uh, yeah, this made it a, an interesting improvement. I knew so Jeff is playing Jeff. Of course. I think it's he's not gonna have a choice anymore. Yeah. Forget Claudette, Jeff. It's all about Jeff now. Is it Claudette man? He was, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's one of those. You can do it. <laughs> I'm now not really sure what's going on. I don't know if they may be, they may just be messing with him. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I've been trying to push the narrative that this is the time for the no mither meta. Yeah. Because no well, mither is pretty good a, against the Legion. I've seen a lot of, uh, of that because they're like, oh, it doesn't matter whether yeah. you're hit or not. It's going to be the exact same result. Forget self-care. It's all about no mither now. But that's the thing is if you take that and you're not playing against Legion, then... Yeah. Then, uh, Obviously, if you're playing on the PTB right now yes. or in the first week after we launch it, yeah. there's a very high percentage of chance that you'll uh, play against the Legion, mm. but that soon goes back to a normal. Mm. And then it's, it's, it's like the locker thing where you go, well, everybody's playing Legion, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, I'm going to use it, but then everybody's doing it, so I'm not going to play Legion anymore. And then it's like, I don't hide in closets because he knows I'm there, but then nobody hides in closets anymore, so you hide in there because he's never going to think you're going to do it the old kind of interesting self-balancing <coughs> system yeah if only it actually self-balanced right well then we'd be out of a job so they're actually back to being in good shape they might actually be able to uh, questionable decision spending time healing against the legion we'll see how that plays out for them yeah it's true huh? yeah. but i think it's also a matter of just you you want to stop being wounded Right. Th there's the thing also about the, the noise and the blood. What is the thing about the noise and the blood? When you're wounded, you make more noise. That's true. I tend to hunt by sound a lot. Uh, so, uh, yeah. No? There was uh, a, lot of, a lot of confusion when I was watching streamers 
uh, on the first day, and they were using his uh, iridescent button. Yes. So the, the iridescent button is, a, is an add-on that makes it such that if you hit a survivor while you're in frenzy, for the duration of that frenzy, your terror radius is map wide, and you destroy pallets when you jump over them. Mm. Uh, now, those two points were bullet pointed, and the bit about having to hit somebody with the frenzy and then it stops when the frenzy is over were not bullet points. So I suspect that most people read the bullet points and that was it. And I got tons of messages to the effect of, oh, this add on is not working. And uh, no, as far as I can tell, it is working, but it's only for the duration of the frenzy after you hit somebody. Dom, we'll need to talk about this. Yeah. Because uh, we're going to have to have a chop. Whoa! Nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to have the chat with Dom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's obviously maxed out a lot of his categories, which is great. But That's nice. Yeah. He's, he's, just, he's just point farm. This isn't the time for point farming, Dom. Yeah, no. You make you make us look bad. The the lights look different. I don't know if it's just me, but the little lights. Maybe that's because of the engine change. I haven't looked at them before on the gate. Seriously, are you getting 360 by Gab right now? Oof. This is going in your performance review, by yeah. the way, Dom. Yeah. What's everyone else up to? They're just, oh. They're all clustered, and it's not going well. <laughs> Split up. You'll cover more ground. Yeah. Oh, um, boy. See, that was a questionable decision. Mm -hmm. it, it's funny how he looks like a big baby, like this on the shoulder. He, it's a little bit strange that our new survivor is larger than our new killer. <laughs> we tried something. We tried something. Uh, I, I really have been getting a kick out of seeing Jeff. He, he's, he's a new thing in our survivor roster. I, I really like it. And if anything, it shows that we, uh, we will continue to make characters. Am I, am I supposed to press a thing? Why? Because we don't want to look at people dying. It's it's not good on it's not good TV. Thank I think you. I just saw somebody get exposed from Iron Maiden. Really? Yeah. That's gone now. Oh. Okay. That would have been good. Uh, yeah, Iron Maiden. For those of you uh, asking, is this perk here, and it actually uh, makes you open lockers faster. Uh, which there was a lot of ridiculing at first where people would just post that and saying yeah. that's the whole perk yeah. and we, Which would have been a little weak to be fair uh, But then uh, it's, it's good on the huntress Okay, so we have wrapped this one up. Yeah uh, Yeah, it's good on the huntress, but it's not enough. Hi twitch. Hi mom. So no, oh. no, no You're not even on screen no. anymore. So no. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah uh, so yeah, that was a quick uh, impression of what it looks like for those of you who have not watched people play this. Uh, but definitely, oh, she wants to go again. I don't. Do we have time for this? I don't think we have time. No, we don't have time for this. Okay. Okay. So uh, I will quickly recap what we have. Oh no, no, no! First of all, my very favorite part. Did you have time to do the thing? Of course you did, Francois. Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the stuff that our fans have made. And today I'm actually showing, because I'm always impressed, the time to fan art yeah. is growing smaller and smaller every time. The TTFA. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And the time to cosplay is actually shrinking as well. Yeah? Yes. That's truly impressive. Yeah. Well, this one, I think, the, 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 the new killer is... Oh, that, that's uh, good. I don't have the name, so you'll have to shout them. Do you have the name? Yeah, you have the names. They're the names of the files. No. No? Okay, well, they'll be added to the... The, the recap? The recap. Okay. Uh, but some of them are, are signed, so please go on. Anytime I see pixel art versions of any character or thing that I like, I immediately say, I need that game. I... <laughs> I just, I need to play 16-bit Dead by Daylight. Yeah. So, do you want to go to the next one? We can go to the next one, it's okay. Ah. Le very cute. I think, uh, I think Huntress is our, is our cosplay champion. Constant? Uh, cosplay champion. Like, I think I've seen more Huntress cosplays than any other. Uh, yes, uh, for sure. 
It's uh, it's the most cosplayed character, uh, almost uh, certainly. And uh, so, like you were saying, time to fan art, extremely small. Extremely small. I don't know what he's holding. Do you know what it's he's holding? It's a broken hook. Of because, course. You know. Because of breakdown. Yeah. I love it. Uh, next is. There we go. Very beautiful. So I think um, after the Halloween costumes, Lur. It's Lur. Wraith may now have like the top two fan arted um, outfits because of his like hole in the chest outfit and, yeah. and the the candle candle oh, Wraith. Oh, that's ridiculously adorable. That's me. No, new. M W. M W. It's written right on there. Yeah. Uh, the the fact like the the ratio Mary between, between the size of the med kit and the size of the head is so absurd that I can't help but love it. It's cute. It's just so good. Ooh, M W again here. So, uh, so I, I believe uh, the story here was that they didn't know what the characters actually looked like under the mask, so they yeah. just guessed. But then the characters were revealed a little later because yep. some data miners mined the data. Did their thing. Yeah. So, it's great stuff right there. Oh, it's super cute until you see her bite its head off. Right. Strawberry. 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 That's the artist's name, yeah. of course. Yeah. Uh, next, we have this... More amazing Legion fan art. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe, Kawarani, or some of that, I'm um, mangling that name. It's uh, difficult for my mouth, but uh, no, that might not be. I apologize. We will do better next time. Uh, we tend to have the names, but we didn't. But this is really, really cool. I really like this. And this, actually, this one actually came out like an hour after. Uh, really cool. Is this one is going to be a simpler one uh, that's signed right here. Does she have the tattoo in game? I didn't notice. Uh, I'm, I don't. Yes. Art, okay. Yeah, Francois is vigorously nodding. Very yes. cool. Uh, I believe that this is a simpler killer to uh, cosplay, obviously, as right. opposed to, let's say, the hag or the spirit. Yes. Uh, so I think we'll see. Uh, that's Hayatiku. Atsuki. Like hey, a, Atsuki. Hey, Atsuki. Uh, like a playing card. I like it. Yeah. But I, I think that we're going to see a lot of them. And we're going to be creeped out because you don't want to see a lot of them. But it's kind of cool, though, that you get a lot of them. Because <laughs> that's kind of the point. Can we do a Guy Fox mask? Legally? Yeah. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure someone registered or tried to register it. I don't know if they were successful. Well, we'll see. I would love to know what's happening here. I can't read this. There's, there's a there's mention a, of Wi-Fi. There, exactly. <laughs> there's one legible word. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then the rest is, uh, is yeah. yeah. This is really cool. This is awesome. Yeah, I love it. I'd watch that TV show. Uh, and I think once the, uh, once, the leaked, um, once the leaks of the other masks start getting out there more, we're going to see a lot more than because these are all the basic masks yeah. that we're seeing in the fan art but there is even more cooler stuff yeah to come and it's it's another one of those where i think like let's say the doctor and the huntress have been super inspiring to our artists yeah. internally and they've done some really crazy things with them so this is this is going to be another one of those so quickly to recap the ptb is on right now keep playing please collect your feedback write it in a constructive way put it on the as the official forums. If you want to discuss it on, on uh, Steam, on Twitter, on Reddit, feel free to do so. But the best place to make sure that your voice is heard, next Friday we will be sending out, posting everywhere, the PTB feedback survey. So make sure you uh, write up all of your ideas, all of your thoughts and feelings about the chapter. And we will make sure to address them. Uh, VGAs. No, they're not called VGAs. They're the Game Awards. Game Awards. Uh, so, Game Awards next week. So, that's December 6th. Uh, 
Are, are we up for Game Awards, or are we just like an honored guest or something? We are sponsors. Ah, that's cool. So we'll be uh, there, we'll be talking, we'll be showing stuff. We're going to be part of the, the whole celebration of the amazing world of video games. I like video games. Yes, I'm a big fan myself. Mm -hmm. I've played some. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we will be there next week. Uh, watch it. It's going to be cool. And you will, might actually see some stuff from Dead by Daylight that you had not seen before. Uh, other than that, I, I got nothing. Do you have some last thoughts? Smile and be fierce. It says so right here. <laughs>